Peanut, welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new to my channel, I am a full time reseller on the Poshmark, eBay, and Macari app, and I am also a stay at home mom to three boys an eight year old, two year old, and four month old. And I still find time to make a side hustle and bring a good chunk of income to our family's finances. So today's video is going to be a 2019 business investment kind of videos business investments into materials and supplies that um, I think that were worth it or not worth it. So I'll probably phrase it a little bit better, but the title is still kind of going through my head right now. So, but let's just kind of get started with things. Um, so this is by far one of the best investment that I ever did was a Rolo thermal printer. Um, I did a lot of research prior just by nature, I always do a lot of research, but um, I did a lot of research into thermal printers before because I knew that I wanted it as a part-timer. I knew I wanted a thermal printer, um, but I waited until I was almost full-time to invest in one. So it was $200 and then the labels are pretty affordable to order again. I think I pay about $16 for 500 labels and I only do it once every two months so it's definitely worth my investment um it is time saving that's number one key i was getting tired of cutting paper taping paper onto my orders and with the thermal printer of course you just print it you set your settings you print it and then you just stick it onto your package and it's off and it's waterproof so definitely suggest investing in one only if you're planning to go full-time or if your orders are significant the end your income is significant enough to invest in a label printer so there's that um next item i just got this <laughs> i love it so much already it is a gigantic lint roller um the brand is i don't know if that's the brand super lint super lint fabric shaver it is ginormous and what i like about this the most is that it collects a lot of um, uh, the sweater, sweater shaving things, the lint, lint. <laughs> it collects a lot of lint. I had ordered a smaller version of this, like super small, the Conier, small, um, the Conier one. And I found that I like, after half of the sweater was done, it was already full and I would have to empty it out more than I liked. Um, with this one, I was able to go through one full sweater, actually almost two, almost two with um without emptying it and so that was nice and another thing that i like about this it's not battery operated you have a plug-in for it and it's amazing because i did not like that i was always going through batteries of course now i have rechargeable batteries but prior i did not invest in rechargeable batteries and i just kind of used batteries that were laying around the house but uh, now that i have this gigantic thing that's power that's uh, that has a plug-in it's the best thing ever <laughs> so I really highly suggest that next is a tape dispenser um I bought this when I first started reselling and honestly I probably could have gone without investing in one it's nice yes it's nice but um my son likes to play with it my two-year-old likes to play with it and so he ends up wasting a lot of tape and um the tape rollers that you usually work for packaging works as well but i just invested in i think 15 dollars in this so it wasn't like a high dollar investment but it was still something i wouldn't recommend doing again so there's that next item is a scale um for ebay you definitely need a scale so definitely invest in one i just bought the a generic one on amazon and i think it cost me under 20 dollars, but it's saving me money because as if you already sell on ebay or if you're branded to ebay ebay shipping is all based on weight and so is makari um so i've used it a lot to just kind of save myself and the buyer um shipping as much as i can so there's that uh, next item is my mannequin 
So I was like under the impression that I needed a mannequin. Like I need a mannequin. Every like I just need a mannequin for all my dresses. But I don't even use it. <laughs> I'm actually gonna give it away to uh, give it to my sisters, um, just because they also resell and um, they want a mannequin. And I just told, I just don't like putting it on, putting it off, putting it on, putting it off. And it's hard to picture as well because I don't have a big space to to like picture my stuff. I just have this tiny little closet that I picture all my stuff. And that's also my, uh, my packaging office. So everything's kind of clustered here. But um, there's not a lot of good areas to take this a picture with a mannequin. And I found a wall in my house that works for like amazing long dresses. Um, so I've been using that wall instead to take all my pictures of dresses now. So I haven't even used my mannequin. I probably used it like for like 30 pictures and that's it. It was a $35 investment. So not like, super expensive again, but it's still money that I wasted on something that I'm not even using. So I definitely will not recommend a mannequin unless that's what you want for your business. Every business is different. I operate mine differently, so just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I probably, sorry about that. My son came in and wanted some attention, so I had to deal with that. Um, next is a Jiffy steamer, this giant thing right here. <laughs> um, I would only recommend investing in a Jiffy steamer if you're having quality, uh, like if you increase your closet inventory, like I lists about a hundred items a week, um, new items a week in my closets on all three apps. And I invested in the Jiffy steamer this year or December, uh, December. And it's been amazing. <laughs> I went for, I went a long while not steaming anything because my little baby steamer took like, would take, I would have to refill it with each item that I list and I picked that I pictured and it was just a waste of my time. So I went through a phase where I didn't steam at all. But one of my goals for 2020 was to increase to do better pictures um, so that it showcased better than what I had before. Um, and so that I could ask for a little bit of higher dollar if you could see everything fully. So I invested in the Jiffy steamer. This thing was not cheap. Like not cheap. <laughs> so I paid about 200 something for this. And of course through Amazon, I am an Amazon shopper <laughs> like crazy. Everything is Amazon because I don't have time to go out and buy everything. So I bought this on Amazon. It was super easy to install. The water container is really big so I can go through and steam everything that I need to steam in one go, which is what I want to do all the time. Um, and it's been amazing. It's such a time saver for me. So I definitely recommend that if you're increasing your inventory. But again, it is an expensive, expensive investment. So make sure it's worth your money. Um, next is a tablet. So I bought a tablet this year um, or towards the end of December. I bought a tablet and um I probably would have just saved my money. It, it was kind of a, I've been wanting one, um, but it was kind of a, a spur of the moment decision to buy it. They had a really good deal, so I bought it. Um, but that's bad, <laughs> that's bad on my account. But um, I bought it, I don't barely use it. I use my laptop more than anything now that I'm cross-listing on Vindu. My intention was, to use this to do everything. But Vendu does not work on my tablet. And I use Vendu to list everything now. So I had to use my laptop versus my tablet. So my tablet is just collecting dust. Um, the only time I use it is to film and to, that's it. When I film and I need to, look, to have something to look physically look at, that's what I'm using it for. So it is kind of a waste of money currently. Um, it was nice when I was when I had a tablet, um, 
when I didn't hire sharing uh, a VA to do my share Poshmark shares, it was nice to have a tablet to do it versus a laptop just because um, it was right there with my hands. When I have my baby, I could do all of it at one go. But now that I have a VA doing my closet sharing for Poshmark, um, I don't even use my tablet no more. So waste of money for me. <laughs> definitely consider what electronic works best for you. For me, currently, it is a laptop um, just because I can move it around depending on where my kiddos kind of want to cry. <laughs> so there's that. Um, not featured are my lighting because I'm currently using them to film. So I will post up some pictures here of what I bought. So I bought these little cheapo lights. Um, from Amazon for $60 and it came with the uh, light bulb and it was already a preset definitely just save your money for good lighting is my number one tip um, if you want to invest in lighting because I wasted $60 and the light bulbs my son broke a lot of light bulbs and um, they're not cheap light bulbs by the way they're not cheap at all um, I probably would not recommend these. I would just recommend saving your money and investing in something that you are happy with and that works with your space. So one thing I didn't like about these is the umbrella. The umbrella is not, it did not benefit my pictures, especially since my area is so tiny. Opening the umbrella is, if you can't see, I can't even open the umbrellas because um, if I open the umbrellas, it blocks out everything my whole space that I have to photograph so I can't use the umbrellas so I um, prefer just to have the umbrellas off now this light bulb we my husband and I bought at Menards and didn't order it through Amazon um, but this light bulb has like an odd glow odd lighting to it so I have to use an umbrella to cover that but this is just to balance the shadow off at the bottom of my clothes so that's fine being there as it is but other lamps that I have um, don't have the umbrella shades on it and my son has already broke one so it doesn't even work for me <laughs> um, I did eventually save my money and I uh, invested in circle ring lights that are not featured I have two of them one right here and one right here and they work amazing um, I actually had someone that I followed on Facebook and she also has an Instagram and she has a link. She had a link to get it for 60% off. So originally they were like $160. I saved um, a lot of money. I only paid about $55 for it and I bought two of them um, and I gave one away to uh, one away if, as a Christmas gift. So they were amazing. Good, definitely good investments. Uh, if you want good lighting definitely i recommend these ring lights they do wonders for me um and then last thing it's thing in this corner right here is a tripod i bought this tripod because i thought that i was going to take more pictures on a camera which actually two more <laughs> one more item i'm not gonna show it I have a camera in the corner that I bought for my sister. It is it's a Sony, Sony 8, Sony something. It's a Sony something. I will like put a picture here. But it is a Sony and I bought it for my sister used for $500. And my intention was to take pictures on the camera and then load it on to my laptop and then post it and list it. But I don't even use the camera. It's just sitting in the corner in a bag. Uh, not collecting dust because it's protected. But it's just sitting in their corner not being used. I have a tripod that I occasionally use to film videos. But I invested in a Joby tripod so that it's mobile. And I don't even use this as much anymore because my Joby is more stable than this one that I bought from Amazon. So... In all, I probably would not buy this because I use my phone primarily for all my pictures. And yeah, I wouldn't invest in a tripod and camera unless you know that that's the route. Definitely, 
the definite route that you want to go towards instead of using your phone camera. So there's that. And then not featured because I'm using it to film this video is my phone. I had to um, invest in a new phone towards the end of September because George broke my phone. My George was my two-year toddler. Um, he broke my phone so the image quality wasn't the same no more. It was a little hazy and there was like half of the camera was in like a yellow tinted color and it just annoyed me so much. I took her out. I was like, I need, I'm going to go get a new phone, a new phone with good phone, qual uh, phone camera quality and phone re recording and video quality so that I don't have to buy a camera and it just kind of saves money all around. So I invested money into a um, Samsung S10 Note Plus. And so far, it's working. I really like it. Um, it's easy to use. I don't use all of the features for it, which is the shame. But um, what I do use is amazing. And I love it. So I would recommend that as well. Is getting a good phone camera. Um, a phone with good camera quality. If you're going to use your camera as a um, your phone as your way of taking pictures. Another, I forgot about one. I've kind of gone through, I've kind of gone through a lot of backdrops. Um, so I have this marble one currently. It's just something I ordered from Amazon. I have white walls, but I wanted something to balance that would work better with white clothes because if I put white on white, it just looks funky it just like the white of the outfit is not shown correctly because it's blended a little so i bought this marble one to kind of contrast a little to balance it out it's working but i'm thinking about going towards a silver um color uh just because with blues it doesn't really work with blues with blues it goes yellow so and i'm the type of person that i don't like editing my pictures because then it's not showing the true what I took pictures of true quality so I don't edit any of my pictures and with the white uh, marble their blues look very yellow so that's kind of a minor situation I'm working with um, but that's that and then my flat lays I went through three different flat lays okay until I found the one that I like. So I did a rug. I went to Joanne. I used a coupon. I bought this little furry rug thingy. But I didn't like it because the fur kept on coming off. And it was getting on the clothes. And then it, I was linting too much. And then it just got me real mad. So, and then I bought this jute rug from my local home store. And it was nice. It was pretty. It showed the pretty, uh, pictures really nice. But... Again, like the carpet, uh, uh, the fur rug, it was getting everywhere. So I went from fur to like jute. And then I decided I was going to buy a rug from Amazon that does not shed a lot or shed at all. So I ordered this rug right here. It's just completely white um, and it's super soft and it doesn't come off as much as I'm just testing it right now just to make sure I'm correct. Yeah, it does not come off and I'll get far everywhere. So that's my favorite part about this rug so far is not having to lend everything. It saves me so much time. Uh, but that's it. That's all my business investments so far that I put a little bit more money into. Some worked, some does not. Of course, my business, I feel like, is always going to be changing. I'm always going to be constantly buying stuff. I'm trying to improve it. Like my backdrop, my husband even told me that I'm never going to be satisfied with my backdrop because he knows my personality very well, that I want some... I want things perfect and it's not perfect. So he said that he, I'm probably going to change it. I told him, no, I won't. I think it's going to be good. But no, I am. I'm like, I'm going to change it. So it's a lose situation for me. I feel like I'm never going to be happy with my backdrop situation anyway. So it is what it is. Um, that's it. I'm for sure that's it. All my stuff. I'm looking around my office. That's it currently. 
definitely make sure you like and subscribe. Tell me down below in the comments some investment that worked for you, some investment that did not. Uh, was any of these items things that you love or things you don't love? Leave it in a comment down below and I shall see you on my next video. Bye-bye.